Uh, these parts always uh, look worse on camera than they do in real life. A lot like my face. Let me start by showing you guys uh, my different cameras and uh, how I usually go about like making these uh, desk type uh, videos. This is the, the usual angle, like the top down onto the desk, straight forward. And I also have this web camera here on a small tripod that I can just like move around to make close-ups and stuff like that. So if I want to show you like a reading on a multimeter like this or something, I can easily just uh, take out this camera and uh, show you a close-up like that. And I use OBS when I make these videos so I can quickly like change between scenes. So I don't have to, I'm not recording every angle I'm basically like producing some of this stuff like on the fly, um, which makes still a lot of work to edit, but it's a lot easier. So I have this camera here, which is the uh, mobile camera, as you can see right there. It's hard to point like that. And if I switch to the mobile camera, I can show you my other camera is that's up there just pointing down so I made these like simple let me get this coffee out of the way uh, I made these simple slide mounts which I just modeled and uh, 3d printed so it's very easy to put the cameras in place slides in like that and it's locked so I also made made one more which I put on a, another shelf here so I can get the kind of the same same angle just on a, like a, a closer uh, well it's closer to the desk basically so I get a closer view so that's those two and you can also see I have a, a web camera up there which is kind of a face camera, which I don't use much. So what I want to do now is, well, what I've been thinking about doing, and it's about time I do it, is to put a camera like up here somewhere on this shelf to the left of me. What I want to be able to do is like, uh, swivel the camera a little bit like this so the camera itself can yeah, has a pretty decent range like this way um, but I need to be able to swivel it so I'll make a mount where I can swivel the camera like this so I can easily go to the oscilloscope easily and I can also like give a more interesting view of the, of the desk area so I think that might be a nice angle just to have like, at least have the option to use that. This also can also give me an angle all the way to the PC corner. And that's actually, you can see Prusa slicer open there with the, uh, the mount that I modeled. So yeah, so that's the plan to just um, make a new mount, put it up there. And I think I'm gonna like, I like having this mobile camera, so I think I'm gonna keep that on this tripod. Um, and I need the overhead camera. So what I think I'm gonna do is take the uh, face cam and put that in the other angle. That's basically it. I will uh, 
show you quickly how I model this. I'm just going to go through the steps in the Fusion timeline so you can see kind of how I did it. And then uh, we'll move from there. It's just a quick overview of the timeline. I can go through it a little bit slower. So I just started off with just picking an angle. I made an offset, uh, offset plane to just uh, start my first sketch. And then I just made the uh, the dimensions of the, the camera base. Let me see if I can show you this. Let's see if I can show you there. So the thickness of this base, and also I'm going to use this uh, this hole here. I'm not going to use the I'm not going to use anything thread or something. I'm just going to use this hole as a uh, place to like notch in to the camera, just to make it like more stable and use it as a swivel point. So. Let me just go back to Fusion. So the camera goes goes inside there, the base of the camera. And that's the notch right there for uh, doing the fastening and swiveling. And I made sure to like do all the measurements so that the mount is deep enough here to be able to rotate the uh, the base inside there without hitting the, the bottom of the mount. Um, then I just tried to add a, a mount for the for the mount <laughs> so I can mount it to the to the shelf next to me here or a wall or whatever. Not really happy with the way I made this part but it works. So I made some holes, mounting holes added some chamfered corners and that's that's basically it um, I just used 0.3 millimeters as I use my draft profiler to just reduce the printing time down to 1 hour and 19 minutes Where did I put it again? Oh, there we go. So that's how it turned out. Let's have a closer look on the on the desk. So this is the finished part, straight from the 3D printer. Um, not much to it. It just has these two mount mounting holes. Just gonna put through two screws in there, and it has this uh, notch for grabbing onto the tripod mount on the camera. Uh, these parts always uh, look worse on camera than they do in real life. A lot like my face. But And this is only 0.3 millimeter uh, resolution as well. But at that resolution this print is actually very nice. Like it shows off pretty, pretty well on the chamfers and stuff but other than that it's fine need to print this at a better resolution. So I'm pretty happy with the design so let's just uh, take this camera and see if it works. This is actually the first print. Now one thing I've noticed is that this notch looks kind of small. It doesn't need to be taller but it could be wider. Let's just see. Nice, so it actually clicks uh, in there pretty good. 
and now I can swivel the camera it's pretty good and it's uh, it's not loose so it should keep its position pretty well so I can swivel this way and then I can just move the camera up and down as well so I think that's gonna need, uh, give me what I need and I also have I have an angle on this as you can see so when it's mounted it has a slight downwards angle so I get more uh, more freedom uh, on the because the webcam uh, the webcam is uh, doesn't go too far down so it just helps giving me a little bit more range there on the vertical axis if you will I think we'll just uh, mount this and uh, give it a try okay I got some screws and a screwdriver so let's just mount this uh, let's mount the mount just mount it straight there One, that's definitely not going anywhere. Nice and simple. Let me just try with this uh, camera right here. There we go. It's nice. Let me switch over. Look at that. I have to do something about this cable, of course, but that's pretty nice. I think that might be a helpful angle for a later point. It just makes uh, things a little bit more interesting, maybe. And if I need to show something on the oscilloscope here, I can do that. I can just make a better scene for this. So just rotate the image a little bit and stuff like that. Um, but that's gonna work okay, I think. I have my light shining into it. So, I can actually turn it on just to have a look. Yeah, that actually works fine. So now I have this angle towards my oscilloscope and I actually also just tried to make a quick uh, oscilloscope scene here in OBS where I just like zoomed in and rotated the image a little bit. And then I have this, which is uh, very nice. I mean, it could be sharper, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Well, there you have it. Now you can watch me drink coffee in all the beautiful angles. Mobile camera, overheads, and what I call the uh, new lab overview angle. Ah. That's it for today's video.